अमेरिकी सफीर डोनाल्ड ब्लॉम ने आज ग्वादर का दौरा किया और अपने दौरे के मौके पर निजी होटल में मकामी साफियों को प्रेस ब्रीफिंग दी उन्होंने अपने दौरे के दौरान तरक्की तजारत और तजारती तालुकात को महमिज देने के लिए मौके का जायजा लिया गया ताकि इस दौरे के दौरान कामयाब नतज को बरकार लाया जा सके जिनका मेवर पाक अमेरिका दो तरफा ताल्लुक है अमेरिका और बलूचिस्तान के दरमियान कामयाब ताल्लुक की तवील तारीख है गुजशत साल आने वाले तबाकुन सैलाब के बाद अमेरिका ने खुराक और अशद जरूरी रकम के जरिए छह लाख इकसठ हजार अपराध की एहनत की और नब्बे हजार बच्चों को भूख के कतरे से निमटने के लिए काना परायम किया तालीस मराकज सेहत की कामयाबी से तजदीद की तालीम के मैदान में अमेरिकी आनत से बी यू आई टी ई एम एस और सरदार बहादुर खान वेमेन यूनिवर्सिटी में प्रोग्रामों को फरोक दिया गया ग्वादर एवं आय सनत और तजारत के अरकान से अपनी मुलाकात में सफी डोनल्ड ब्लॉम ने इन अवामिल पर तोजह मरकूज की जिनके जरिए कहते में कारोबार नकलोमल सियाहत माहगीरी और समंदर से मुतलक माशी शोबों में अमेरिकी तजारत और सरमाकारी को फरोक दिया जा सकता है हुकूमती और कारोबारी रहनुमाओं से अपनी मुलाकातों में सफीर बलोम ने पाक अमेरिका सब्ज एहतियात फ्रेमवर्क पर भी बात की जो हमारे दोनों मुल्कों को मिलकर माहौल तोानाई पानी और माशी जरूरियात को पूरा करने में मदद दे रहा है सफीर डोनल्ड ब्लॉम ने कहा कि हम खासतौर पर बलोचिस्तान समेत सारे पाकिस्तान को मालियाती मसाइल से निपटने की इस्तेहाद बढ़ाने मुतबाद तो के लिए कोशिशों और सब के लिए माशी तरक्की को फरोग देने में एहानत फराम कर रहे हैं सब्ज एहतियात के तहत बारह हजार किसानों को अमेरिकी एहानत फराम की गई partners to discuss how we can broaden and deepen uh, our economic and development cooperation. We appreciate the partnerships that we've built with the people of Baluchistan uh, and those ties span education and economic issues, health, the rule of law uh, and and far beyond. Uh, we want to expand those ties and explore what more the United States and Baluchistan can do to build for the future in areas like commerce and trade, renewable energy, water and agriculture. with a focus on sustainability and resilience. We want to make sure that Baluchistan is positioned to take full advantage uh, of the opportunities to connect with Pakistan's largest export market, the United States. Uh, there's no secret that the United States approach to trade and economic development sets it apart. The US is proud to be Pakistan, one of Pakistan's leading investors over the last 20 years. Um, and has long been Pakistan's largest export market. Um, uh, over the past year, the U.S.-Pakistan trade stood at about $9 billion, uh, more than the second and third largest combined. So U.S. Uh, investments and U.S. companies uh, provide employment to over 120,000 Pakistanis, uh, including many well-paying jobs here in Baluchistan. Uh, U.S. companies uh, ensure that local partners meet international labor standards and working conditions, Uh, and work to build an economic foundation uh, that benefits both our two countries. Um, I had a chance today to meet with uh, local officials where I was reiterated U.S. support for Baluchistan's economic development, disaster relief and preparedness, uh, and security. And we discussed the priorities and challenges uh, of economic development here in the province. And we agree that there is a bright future for U.S. engagement here in Baluchistan. Um, I appreciated uh, all the discussions that focused on the U.S.-Pakistan Green Alliance framework, uh, our shared approach to build a future that is sustainable and climate resilient. And I'm really proud of the work that we've already done on this. Um, We started to work very quickly after last year's devastating floods affected uh, Baluchistan. We were able to provide Um, cash and uh, emergency food to over 600,000 people here in the province. Um, but we've continued to work uh, over the past year uh, in the wake of the floods to try to rebuild in a resilient way. We have renovated uh, over 40 health clinics around the province, for example, and we're working with 12,000 farmers uh, to increase their crop yields and to reduce their post-harvest losses. This is the kind of thing we can do and we can work together on here in Baluchistan. Um, uh, after this, I will be uh, heading over to Gwadar Port to meet with the Gwadar Port Authority uh, to talk about green shipping and port use, energy and other topics that also fit within the Green Alliance framework. Um, 
uh, our conversation will cover development uh, at the port and how its uh, operations can fit into the broader U.S.-Pakistan partnership and facilitate access to the U.S. economic market, uh, U.S. export market. So it's been a very productive visit. Uh, I'm grateful to the incredible hospitality I've received here from uh, the people in Gwadar, uh, and I leave uh, energized and inspired uh, by the potential to grow our partnership, uh, and I look forward to being back. So with that, I'm, I'm happy to take a few questions. Uh, thank you very much for that. We're, we're, we're very much committed to uh, education sector here in uh, Baluchistan. Uh, I can say uh, we're working closely uh, with uh, in higher education with uh, Butams and with uh, uh, Said Bahadur Khan University in Quetta, uh, but we're also working in the primary education level as well. Um, USAID actually uh, helped develop uh, curriculum materials for Baluchistan and Baluch local languages to help children learn how to read, which has had great outcomes in the schools. Um, uh, and we, we continue to grant scholarships and, uh, and otherwise try to find ways to support uh, children from this area with their education, including with English language education. So thank you for the suggestion. I can certainly take that suggestion back. Thank you for, for, for raising it. Well, I think there's a number of ways that we can work together, and, and you're absolutely right. Baluchistan is uh, um, one of the most environmentally uh, and climate vulnerable areas of a climate vulnerable country in Pakistan. Um, I think uh, some of the areas that are most promising for us to work together here are in water management in particular and uh, agriculture, particularly sustainable agriculture that uh, can reduce the use of water um, while increasing crop yields. There are technological solutions to some of these things and, and I think we can work uh, together with local officials, with universities and research centers and with farmers directly, which we're doing. Uh, to try to help develop that here in uh, Baluchistan. So again, I, you know, I think uh, I think there's lots of opportunities here in Gwadar to to develop uh, the economy here, and it's important that we do find ways to uh, to try to help support Pakistan's efforts to uh, to develop this region and to develop Gwadar in particular. So um, uh, over the long run, I'm optimistic that we can uh, we can find ways to work together and uh, you know hopefully build a better future here.